in this video i will show you how to calculate the voltage and current across and through a resistor inside a complex series parallel circuit calculate the current through and the voltage across 6 ohm resistor see this is our 6 ohm resistor and if, if you look at this circuit you will see this is a series parallel structure and in this circuit i have to calculate the voltage that is dropped across this 6 ohm resistor and the current that is flowing through this 6 ohm resistor now i will follow a general procedure which will be more or less same in case of any kind of series parallel circuit see if i want to calculate the voltage across this 6 ohm resistor let's say i denote that voltage as v 6 ohm if i want to calculate that voltage I have to know the value of current that is flowing through this 6 ohm resistor. Let's say I call that current as I6 ohm into the value of that resistor V into V equal to I into R. Okay. Now you will see we have this 5 ohm, 6 ohm and this 2 ohm connected in series. Therefore, therefore this I6 ohm will be the branch current of this branch let's say the current that will be flowing through this branch is equal to i5 ohm see if i want to calculate i6 ohm at first i have to know the total current that is supplied by this source because this i6 ohm will be a portion of the total current now to calculate the total current i t I have to know the value of total voltage Vt and the total resistance across the terminals in which our voltage source is connected. See here our voltage source is connected across this and this terminal. With respect to these two terminal I will get our total resistance Rt. So at first I have to start my analysis with calculating RT so that I can calculate IT. After that, after calculating IT, I can calculate I6 ohm. After calculating I6 ohm, I will get our V across this 6 ohm. Now let me calculate the total resistance RT with respect to this terminal and this terminal. Look here, you will see this 5 ohm, 6 ohm and this 2 ohm resistances are connected in series. 5 plus 6 plus 2 equal to 13. Therefore, the 13 ohm resistance will be in parallel with this 5 ohm resistor. So, I can write our RT will be equal to 2 ohm plus if I reduce the 5 ohm and the 30 ohm parallel resistance into single one I will get only one resistance 5 parallel 13 plus this 2 5 parallel 13 will give us a value of 3.61 plus 2 so I will get our RT equal to 7.61 ohm see now I get our RT equal to 7.61 ohm and here our total supply voltage is 12 so from which i can calculate our it will be equal to 1.576 ampere now see 1.576 ampere current gets into this point one will go in this direction and another will go in this direction the current that will be going in this direction will be our i6 ohm see if i want to calculate this branch resistance i will take the resistance of opposite branch that means i will take the branch resistance of 5 ohm and and divide this 5 with the sum of the all branch resistances 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 2 into 1.57 0 0.436 ampere now if i want to calculate the voltage v6 ohm see here uh, this current is equal to 0 0.436 ampere 0 0.436 into 6 i will get a value of 2.6166 7 volt now let me run the simulation to show you the validity of my circuit analysis 
if i run this simulation you will see our current is 437.956 milli ampere that means 0.437 ampere i have deduced here for 0.436 ampere c i have deduced our voltage drop across 6 ohm resistor equal to 2.66 2.6166 7 volt see this multimeter is showing a, a reading of 2.628 volt that means my circuit analysis is okay okay that's it thank you